Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to convert JPEG sequences into MP4 videos. So maybe you faced the uh, data set like this, for example. So when I was doing person detection, I found this data set, which was videos, but it was compressed into sequences. So you cannot just use them with Python, C++, or any other programming languages. So for that, you need to, to convert them into MP4 so that you can use either MP4 files or you can convert them into frames or anything you want. So for this reason, you need to convert these sequences into MP4 or any other uh, any other files or recognized file. So for this reason, we are going to use FFmpeg package, but you can there are multiple multiple ways how to use it. So in this video, I will show you a small trick how to use that. So before going that, you can, for example, you can read uh, my blog post about that. So it is it is not a blog post; it is just only a post. So it is explaining how to uh, how to start by installing this FFmpeg. Here you can go to this link and find the FFmpeg for your Linux or Windows or anything you want. And after that, there is only this line, this command that you can run in the uh, command line. It will do the conversion. But here, this video is about something easier than this. But you need to keep in mind that the way that I am going to explain is uh, works only for Windows. It doesn't work for uh, Linux. So if you want to use, if or if you are using Linux or Mac. OS in your system. So in this case, you need to follow the instructions in this post. So you need to install the uh, FFmpeg here separately. And after that, use the same command here. But if you are using already Windows, so in this case, you don't need to follow the steps for the installation because all the steps will drive you to put or to change the path environment, etc., etc. But in some cases, you don't even need that. You may run the conversion only one time, so you don't need to add the files into your path uh, environment. So what you can do is just to follow my GitHub here instructions. So the, the idea here is to use, I created this simple GUI so that it will be easier for anyone who wants to do these conversions. There are only two buttons, open the file, convert the file. So everything is put in this GUI. But you need to keep in mind, as I told you, it is only for Windows. So it doesn't work for other, uh, for other OS. So if you have uh, Ubuntu or you have Mac OS or something like that, so you need to, to follow the instructions in the FFmpeg website. Otherwise, what you can do, the first thing that you need to do is to clone this repository, clone it here from this line, you get clone and the repository. Then after that, you just cd to that repository so that we will not miss the uh, the line or the files when if you can say and the second thing that you need to do we are always we need always the fmpeg file but if you are going to use my code which is this one you can just download the fmpeg.x file from this link so this is the dropbox downloadable link so when you open it it will start downloading the file but what you have to do, you need to put this uh, download, this file, which you will download at the same directory of your project, which is the uh, directory or the repository that we cloned. So if, when you clone your repository, we get, you will get a folder, something like this, sec to uh, sequence to MP4. So I, I have this already here, but for your case, you will not have it when you clone the repository. I couldn't upload it in GitHub because it has more than 100 megabytes, so I couldn't upload it there. But you just need to download it from this link and put it here in this directory, sequence to MP4. You need to all you need to put it here. Okay. After doing that, what you can do, you can just run this main file, which is here. This is the main file. So you can run it from here if you are already in the file. Otherwise, you can just put here in the terminal. So just put Python, then main.py. So this is will open your will open this window here. So what you can do is just to open your file here, select your sequence file. Okay, 
and then click on convert when you click on convert it will ask you where you want to put your file so for example let's say here select this folder and you will see that all the conversions will start here which we wait for a few seconds so now it is done let's go here i put it here yes so this is the video here this is the video it was it is a video now it was jpeg sequences so now it is a video and you can use it for your deep learning models or any where you want you can convert it into frames or and you need to keep in mind that this ffmpeg uh, package can be used for multiple conversions but my application here is only for sequence to mp4 so i hope that this video was helpful if you have any other questions please let them in the comments don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.